everybody. My name is Big Duke, and um, normally you'll see this guy, Harvey Man, or whatever his name is. I don't know why somebody would call himself Harvey Man. So, you know, he collects hobbies or a man. I don't know who he is. But normally you will see him doing a video, but um, I thought I'd take over and do the video for you guys. I, I'm better. I know what I'm talking about. I'm older. And I'm most definitely more good looking than that army man, guys. So I'm going to do the video. So you stay tuned. And um, I'm going to do a video on something I don't know nothing about. And um, But I bet I'd be better than he is. And I know I can get more subscribers than he is because um, I'm big dude. That's all that matters. I'm big dude. So you stay on in here, all right? And uh, oh, you like me in my hat uh, and everything. I know I look good. So, you stay tuned, and um, Big Duke will be back with his first, what you call it, YouTube thing? You, yeah, I'm calling it YouTube thing. I, I, I like that name. It's pretty good. It's, it's catchy. Call YouTube. So, you stay tuned, and uh, Big Duke will do the video for you uh, and everything. <sighs> Toy of you, I never heard of such craziness. They do, they do, do these, they do. Uh, this is the man, Holly Man. I'm sorry about what happened, what happened earlier. Um, Big Duke just wanted to take over everything, but I told him he's not ready to do reviews yet. This is a very difficult thing to do, but um, I'm going to do a review for y'all guys. Um, I'm taking over for Big Duke. I'm just going to do a review for y'all guys. I'm going to do a review on um my Mega Man figure. And this Mega Man figure is the reason why this review is coming up because of um, Ivan. So, um, I'm going to go, I don't have the box, but I'm going to go through the accessories and then we're going to go through the figure itself. And so, so sit back and enjoy. So, everybody have a good day and let's get going. So, everything's in the packaging, but I'm going to take everything out and show you what's in here and what comes with the, um, the Mega Man figure. Just give me a second to open it up. There's several different types of Mega Man you can get. I was online to try to find out which one is exactly what, what this is. I think I found it, but I'm not really sure. But um, I will put in, um, you know, everything about it. Get everything out. <sighs> uh, the packaging. Right here. Some things I'm losing. Don't want to lose stuff. And I got everything out. Now, first thing you do to get an accessories, you do get one of the special effects right here. It's a translucent size of special effects. In fact, it does come off a light type of a green. And that thing, and I will show you if I don't forget on the view how that is um, poured on there. Another part you get is this special effect right here. Also translucent, as you can see. And it also comes with this piece right here. Um, you do come with two face plates, and also in the review, I show you. The, um, I did change the face plates around what the original was on the figure. But I like how it looked. Now um, I will show you how these face plates um, go, do go on. You get more like a, a yelling type face plate right there, as you can see. You have that one, and you also have this one. You also come with. Um, Two sets of hands right there and you also come with this piece right here I'll show you how that goes on and this piece right here now this was randomly in the bag I just dropped it, it was round that piece little small piece was randomly in the bag I don't know what that goes to so stay tuned um, we'll I'll upload um, put the view up for the Mega Man figure Oh, and before I start, uh, do that, and I'll also show you, it also comes with this um, diagram right there to show you how to put everything together. I can't read none of uh, the language, but it's probably self-explanatory how to put that together if you ever get this Mega Man um, set. So it does come with that. So stay tuned. We're going to um, show you a review on the Mega Man and everything else. So don't go nowhere. And I'm sorry about this guy, big dude. I tell you, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back um, with a review of the Mega Man figure. 
Um, first, I'm going to go through the details, um, articulation, and final thoughts, and also will show you how to put the certain um, face plates and stuff on. So, as you notice right here, um, you do, I changed, like I said, I changed the faces out. I did put more the, like the angry face on it. You do have a like a, a clear uh, red plastic right here. It might look like a light, light piping type thing. You don't have too much detail on here, too much paint on here, but um, I like how pretty much to me how a lot of uh, other articulation, it doesn't look like you've seen like little cuts and everything. Very based on the paint all the way around. 360, give you that whole thing, how that look. Now, let's go through articulation. Um, you do have uh, movement in the top part of the head. The head can go left or right very easily. Go down very deep. You can get all the way down. That's beautiful. You can get all the way up. Nice decent up. You can get the arms. You do you do have a articulation into the, the shoulder pads. They can move up like here. <clears throat> if I get my hands on it. You can get the shoulder pads to move up and down. You can get the arm to move up and down. The shoulder pad does not stop it from moving on the, on the hinder at all. You can get the arm to move in. You can get rotation also on the, in the hand. And you can get the arm to move this way. You can get rotation where you can get the a little bit forward and a little bit back. And you get to go left and right on the um right there on the um, upper chest. You can get all the knee, the leg to go all the way up, way the way can pretty much hit the back. You do get rotation also in and down in the in the um Lower, lower, lower thigh. I'm gonna throw a calf right. Excuse me. You do get a little bit of rotation here, and you can get to do a little bit of the splits. And then, if you saw me on Instagram, I did have it where it was bouncing on like the one leg. If you take your time, you can get it bounce on the one leg. And let's see what else? Let's we'll see if I'm missing any any details for y'all guys. No. But stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to change the first face plates. And also I'm going to show you how, uh, the pictures at the end. And we're going to wrap this sucker up. I'm back. Now, sorry how he looks right at the moment. I know it's going to look kind of weird, but I wanted to show you how, how easy that you can take the face plate off. Now, pretty much what you do is, it's two, it's two different scenes. Now, if you look right, right about there, you see them two little holes right here, right there. Now, them two little holes will plug into these two holes right there. Now, you change the faceplate around. It's very simple. You see this piece right here? This piece will plug into that piece. And you can just pick whatever faceplate that you want. Just slide it into here like this. Be, be careful when you slide in there. You don't want to push it too hard, too fast. So you want to put that in there. You take this piece right here. Plug it into like like so. Like I said, be careful. But you don't want to break those. And it will plug into like that. Now, it, does look, it doesn't see too much of the seam right there. That's all you pretty much have to do with that. And then, um, that's simple with that. Now, you want to change your hands out. Now this piece can come off. This piece right here can come off. So when you're gonna change the hands out, you just take this piece, hold, hold, hold it by this part of the base, so it won't pop off too much. But if it does, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, I'll show you the diagram. And if you do have that problem where the um the little peg come out, that do happen sometimes. I didn't think it was gonna come out. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can get that little peg out. Uh, I didn't think it was going to come out. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that, twist that, hold that in there like that. Uh, it's going to give me problems trying to take that peg out, put that peg back in there. I know it is. I didn't think it was going to do that, but 
the best way to do is, well, what you were going to do is, you got to make sure this black pack stays in there. I'm not going to hold you up trying to do that, but I will show you in pictures at the end on how that will look after I change that around. So, um, hope everybody have a good day and a good night. Hope you enjoy my Mega Man review and be safe out there. Enjoy your collection and don't forget to write, comment, share, and subscribe and share. And um, once again, be safe. And once again, also, I'm sorry about let me get that in frame so you can see that. I'm sorry about the guy, big dude. He, will, I hope he don't come back. But if he does, I take care of it. I got him. So stay to the end for the pictures, and I'll show you the different type of hands and show you um. Other pictures and stuff like that at the end. Guys, I'm back one more time. I forgot to tell you in this uh, in the review. Uh, uh, before, I hope you enjoy the pictures. I forgot to tell you in the review. If you see this part right here, when you put the the special special um spe piece on, um, I would recommend you to try to maybe get a a, a stand that you could probably plug it over. The reason why I say so, because it does make him top heavy, and it will make him want to um, go forward a little bit. So if you want to, you can probably get maybe like a, a stand that can hook under here. They do have stands um, out for those type of figures. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to recommend what what type of stand would be under, but you would find smaller stands you can hook under there to help him for going top heavy. Because it's the reason why I'm using the barrel. Because like if I move this barrel, he will flip down. And I didn't want to do that to make him flip over. So I will recommend you to try to maybe get a stand for him. He stands very good, as you notice, on his feet. The only reason why I did, once again, is, is because of the special effects part um, piece right there. Then when, um, um, makes him top, top heavy. And um, when I took out the hand, and what have you, um, I pretty much just left the, um, took off this piece right here. And then when I took off this piece, I just plugged the other piece of hand in there after I took off the other piece. That was really simple and easy. And I just plugged it on there. And I'll talk to you guys later. Once again, um, have a good day, good night, and enjoy your collection.